Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back out here to the uh, first generation farmer series. And today, uh, since since we've been living out of the motel while we're getting harvest done, uh, we need to get out to the farm today because uh, we have a lot of beans to cut today and a short time to get it because prices are dropping for corn right now. It's currently like fifteen dollars per bushel. So and it's and it's on the it's on the slow decline. So we need to head out to the farm here this morning. Um, hopefully, get all that stuff cut today maybe if we can get it all cut that would be great just so i don't have to come back the next day and do it some more but we have we're gonna have to take the old square body out grease the uh grease the combine the grain cart and then the tractor and then hopefully get everything switched over towards uh to beans on the uh, combine get everything adjusted and things like that top it off with diesel and then um then yeah so we'll we'll meet you out at the farm here well we're just about to pull into the farm here uh last video we know we got that cornfield done and uh we'll have to grease the combine and get it switched over like i said some stuff has changed i locked everything up last night so uh, nothing could get to going and also we need to run a load of uh run a load of beans into town with the international i think that's what we're gonna do before we get started today just just so we get some more money so um let's go let's go crank the international here well we just got the international started here we gotta let it warm up for a little bit it's pretty brisk out um we also need to take the square body over to uh grease the grease the combine uh there's some hourly grease circs on the 8200 and then there's some stuff on the uh, grain cart here so we have we have plenty to do today uh hopefully i'm planning on getting this big field done uh, if we get this big field done then we have to move to these there's two more fields up there that we have to get done so um anyway we're gonna go get in the international and get turned around and heading up to town yeah like i said last video this international grain truck is really handy to have but if we expand the farm buy some more land we're gonna have to eventually switch to a semi because this is not very handy it only holds about 400 bushels and that's that's not good enough for what i need for right now because that grain cart i don't know holds 600 i think so we're gonna head on up to the uh to town here and deliver a load of corn to the local co-op and once we do that we'll be back and get ready on bean harvest well we are just to, just about to pull onto the co-op road here taking it a little hot but it should be fine um hopefully we get a halfway decent amount of money from it 15 dollars a bushel it's like 15 50 a bushel which is not terrible it's not it's not the best it can be but i mean it's money and we need it right now especially for the uh for the bins that i'm wanting to put in eventually so let's see all right so we're gonna get the dump in here and i'll catch you when we're uh heading back well we just made about six grand here for corn not not the greatest but six grand it'll surely help out quite a bit here we're gonna go we're gonna go head back to the farm here and uh get everything greased and get started cutting beans today and uh yeah so we'll, we'll meet you back at the farm well, we're just now pulling back into the farm here. Uh, I think we're just going to park this right over here in front of the 8200 here. Park it right about there. I got to go unlock the shed here. We should probably start the, um, the little square body here so it'll get to warming up. Let's go ahead and start this. Okay, that's getting to warming up. Uh, we have to run inside, get our grease gun, get some oil, get some diesel, and top off everything. So we got the shed unlocked here. Let's go run in and get it. And we need to... We need to get that open for today. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff and we'll meet you in over at the combine. Well, we got all of our grease gun and stuff like that. So we're just now here over at the field. So let's go ahead and pull this on over here. Park this right about here. I'm going to go ahead and pop these panels and get everything. Get to our grease circs here and we'll catch you when we do that. Well, I just got the panel popped here. We have to grease all these pulleys and stuff like that. There's a whole bunch of stuff that we do have to do here. So and then that's about it for this side. We have to grease the PTO on the, on the corn head here. And on this other side, we have some more pulleys and some stuff like that to grease your clean grain auger, all that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get everything greased, fired up, warmed up, and then, uh, and that should do it. So now everything's greased here. So we're going to go ahead and hop up here, go ahead and fire her up this morning. Go ahead and get all of our panels shut. Well, we got the John Deere to warm it up here. So we're going to go ahead and pick up the head, go ahead and throw on our hazards, and we have to go ahead and get on over here. So switch to beans here. So we have, we have to take off the corn head and do some stuff like that. Uh, we'll have to bring, we'll have to come back and get the square body, bring it back over here after a while. Hopefully these beans do better than this corn did. It should, but you never know. Could have could have been like crap but if we get any bigger of a corn head if we switch to a 12 we're not going to be able to fit across fit across the bridge anymore so i think we're just going to we're just going to park it back in the regular place and once we get it parked and i get everything unhooked then i have to uh, get out and switch all the uh, concaves and all that stuff to uh switch it on over to beans so all right well we'll catch you we'll catch you when i get everything hooked back up 
Um, we got everything switched over. Uh, we have to, let's see, let's get the PTO hooked up here, get the hydraulics put up. So now that we have that, uh, we need to get everything adjusted on the head because we have everything adjusted in the combine. So let's go ahead and back this off just a little bit. We need to change your reel right here. It needs to be down and back towards us just a tad bit. So we are good to go here. So we're going to go down here and get a um, get our end rows cut off. Let's try not to hit anything because we have a 30 foot head. It's a pretty big head for this combine. Uh, let's see here. We're missing everything. So that's, that's a good start. So we're going to go ahead and drop everything down here. So let's see if, if she fires. All right, there's that. And we're going to get to cutting here and see how it goes. Uh, let's see. We need to go a little farther and then we're going to hop out and, and uh, see how everything's doing for uh, grain wise. All right, let's go ahead and pause it right there. Drop that off. Okay, not bad. There's not very many, uh, there's not very many beans. There's one there, one there, one there, one there. That's good that we don't have any beans or we don't have much beans. So it's set right. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse and hopefully we can get this field knocked out. Well, we just now got full here. Um, we have about 375 bushels on the combine here. Uh, I'm going to run over and get the uh, 8200 fire fired up and bring it on over here so we can have something to dump on. So we'll meet you when we get it over here. Well, we just got over the 8200 here. Um, fired up just like normal, which is really good. So uh, I think we have to do this, just finish up this little part, and then we can do start doing the straight passes here. Um, sorry, guys. This might be a little bit of a long video here today. I think this is the last field we have to do for this season. We have about one cornfield, one bean field, so it's kind of kind of evens out here so we're gonna go ahead and let's get turned around here go ahead and drive under the auger here and we're filling here so we're gonna go ahead uh, i'm just gonna leave this right here to shut it off and we're gonna go back and get into the combine and uh get our uh, get everything unloaded here because it's already unloaded so we're gonna go ahead and get up here this combine's been working pretty good uh we've got almost two end row passes done um once once we do once we get it all the way done it'll be nice it'll be nice since we can just start going down and backs again so alrighty, well we probably better probably better get started here again so we're gonna put you guys back on a time lapse here and um and hopefully finish up this field so alrighty, well we'll catch you here in a little bit
video. I think that's going to do it for today's video here. Um, we got quite a bit done, but more than likely next episode we will finish the rest of this. Um, it's just kind of a lot. I bet you guys are kind of bored of uh, watching time lapses. So anyway, I think that's going to do it for today's video. Um, hopefully you guys are liking this series. Hopefully uh, we, will, we will see you in the next one. So.